All right, exponent rules. You have three scenarios. One, when you're multiplying, in which this case is happening here, where we are multiplying 5 to the 6th power times 5 to the 12th. When you are multiplying, the base is the same, so what I do is I add the exponents. So I'm going to get 5 to the 18th power. <clears throat> that, this is one of the examples. 5 to the 6th power times 5 to the 12th power. I add the exponents to get my answer, 5 to the 18th. Now let's see how this works here if I can do this fairly quickly. 18, check my answer, it's correct. Moving on. Okay, now I have another scenario, and in this one, I am dividing. So this is the second scenario. When you are dividing, we have 4 to the 6th and 4 to the negative 7th. We are dividing. When you're dividing, you will go minus. Basically, you will subtract the exponents. So 4 to the 6th minus a negative 7. That will be 4 to the 6th plus 7, which is 4 to the 13th power. 4 to the 6th divided by 4 to the negative 7th will give you an answer of 4 to the 13th power because we subtract the exponents. So our two scenarios so far is when we're multiplying 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th, that's going to equal 2 to the 3 plus 4, which is 2 to the 7th. Or the other scenarios where we're dividing, 2 to the 6th divided by 2 to the 3rd, that will equal 2 to the 6th minus 3, which is equal to 2 to the 3rd power. Again, when you're multiplying, you add exponents. When you're dividing, you will subtract exponents. The third scenario, we haven't had the pleasure of having the third scenario yet. Maybe we'll get lucky with the next one. Uh, my answer here was 4 to the 13th. So 4 to the 13th. Correct. Next problem. And I got to erase. So now on this next problem, oh, this works out nice. This is where we have a power to a power, exponent to an exponent. And this is our third scenario. And in our third scenario, you multiply exponents. This is, if we take this problem and break it apart, this is 7 to the 6th power to the 5th power times 8 to the negative 4th to the fifth power. What I'm going to do is multiply exponents because it's a power to a power. So this will be seven to the six times five times eight to the negative four times five. So I get seven to the 30th times eight to the negative 20th. Again, let me just review quickly. When we have an exponent, the 6 to a power of 5, that is a power to a power, and we multiply exponents. Notice our bases are, the same, are different in this problem. So over here, notice I have two answers. Okay, so we have to be careful. So our answer over there is going to be for the 7, it is going to be to the 30th because we multiply exponents. And to the 8th power, or to number 8, is going to be to the negative 20. When you put these exponents in, please double check to make sure that you are hitting the negative and it's actually being negative. Okay, and make sure that you multiply, check your math. Correct. Let's see what the next problem looks like. Okay, here is that same problem we just did. Okay, only it is 
just in one term instead of two of them. So I have 4 to the 12th power, and that is then to the third power. I have a power to a power, so I multiply 4 to the 12th times 3 is 4 to the 36th. So your answer is 4 to the 36th. Your three scenarios, remember, are 1, 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 2nd. We add the exponents. Okay. Your other scenario is where we have 3 to the 2nd divided by 3 to the 3rd. Okay. And in this case, remember, we subtract the exponents. And in the last scenario, we have a power to a power, 3 to the 4th, and that's to the 5th power. A power to a power, we multiply the exponents. We multiply the exponents to get our answer.